guys, today I'm going to show you this matte look. This look is completely matte. All that I'm, the things that I'm wearing on my face are matte. It's a matte lip and matte eyeshadows and everything is matte. And I really like this look, especially now for summertime. I know it's weird. Usually this kind of, these kind of looks, um, I guess, go well with for fall or winter time. But I really like it right now and it's pretty trendy. I see a lot of people, more and more people, wearing just matte eyeshadows and matte shades and all the frost is just gone. I personally really like how it looks like and before we move on to the video, can we please talk about what's going on behind me? So this is going to be my new background. I really hope you like it. I bought this um, lighting that I'm sitting in front of and a tripod. Finally, it actually looks like a real filming setup, not what I had earlier. It's a little bit of a mess, I guess, because I'm just trying to figure out the lighting and if I should open the window with this or um, turn on different lighting as well or just that. So I'm probably going to try different things during the few next videos so you will have to bear with me. Also during this video I just realized at the end of the video that my air conditioner was on and I really hope that it wasn't too interrupting for the background noise so just bear with me and I really hope you like this look and if you want to see how I create it then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start by priming my lid with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer and I'm going to use my finger for that and apply just a little bit all over my lid and up to the brow bone. Then I'm going to take my Sigma 35 blending brush and two colors from my Urban Decay Naked palette, the original one. I'm going to be using um, Naked and Buck those two shades right here and I'm going to mix them together just take a little bit of each and mix them and then apply that to my crease so just very very lightly I'm going to apply that from the outer corner all the way to the very inner corner and swirl it around and that would act as my transition shade so everything that I apply on top of it will blend out more smoothly. I'm going to blend that upwards all the way up to my brow bone. Like this. And then I'm going to apply those two colors a little bit under my lower lash line as well to create kind of more of a soft edge to all the darker colors that I'm going to apply there lately lately? later, <laughs> sorry so once I'm done with that I am going to move on to my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to take um, Sable, which, no, no, Taupe. First I'm going to take Taupe, which is this color. It's not Taupe to me at all. It actually looks like more of a, like a warm toned light brown. And I'm going to take my Sigma E45 blending brush, tapered blending brush, and I'm going to take this color a little bit to my outer corner and a little bit into the crease blend it on this outer edge and just kind of warm it up I'm also going to be taking this color under my lower lash line as well to darken it up a little bit more I'm actually going to use all the color that I'm going to use on my um, lid I'm also going to be using under my lower lash line to match kind of Then for the light shade that's on my lid, I'm going to take my MAC 252 flat brush and from the same Lorac Pro palette, I'm going to take um, cream, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid, but focusing mostly on the inner half. And then right here on this outer edge, I'm kind of, kind of packing it, um, patting it, and blending it into the taupe shade that I applied on the outer edge. Maybe a little bit more to lighten it up. 
Then, if I already have this brush, I'm also going to highlight under my eyebrow. I'm going to take white, which is this really, really white matte shade. And all the upper row on this palette is all matte shades. And I'm going to apply this white color under my lower, um, under my eyebrow. Pretty close to the eyebrow, just to highlight. And then I'm going to take a small flat brush and light pink which is this color and I'm going to apply that to my inner corner just around my tear duct and then sweep it a little bit into the eyelid cream color on this inner corner to kind of blend everything together make a smoother transition and also under my tear duct as well Then to deepen the crease a little bit more, I'm going to take a rounded crease brush like this. And now I'm going to take Sable, which is this chocolate brown shade. And I'm going to take that and just apply it to the crease to darken it up a little bit. Just to deepen the colors. And then again to match the lower lash line I'm going to take a more of a precise brush by Sigma and this is the E20 short shader and the same stable color is going under my lower lash line and then I'm connecting it right here on the outer corner like so then with the same E35 blending brush with nothing on it well whatever is left from the other shade I've used on it. I'm just going to blend the outer edges of all the colors I've just applied. Then I kind of want to cut crease a little bit, make it look a little bit darker. I'm going to take for that my uh, MAC pencil brush, this is the 219, and a darker brown, this is espresso. I'm going to take that and just apply it to my crease and kind of follow the natural shape of my crease all the way to the inner corner like so I'm not blending it too much I just want to be really precise as much as possible to create a darker cut crease right here and just so I won't have a harsh line, I'm just going to go over with the E35 again and blend that upwards. Try not to go downward strokes with this, so you won't take the darker shade onto the light lid shade, but just upwards to blend the outer edges. And to match it, I'm going to take even more of a precise brush, this is the E15 by Sigma and the same espresso shade and I'm just going to take that under my lower lash line really really close to the lashes kind of wiggle it back and forward and intensify this line and make it darker like so kind of feel that it's Needs a little bit more blending. With the pencil brush I've used by MAC, I'm actually going to take this espresso shade a little bit right here on the outer corner of my lash line. I'm gonna follow my lash line and connect it with the crease shade to darken up this outer corner a little bit more. like so then I'm going to apply my eyeliner I'm using my MAC black track fluid line which looks like this and I'm using my Sigma E65 angled brush for this and because I'm going to apply false lashes I'm actually going to take the liner all the way to the inner corner this time
So I've winged it out just a little bit on the outer corner. Well, not a little bit, a lot, but I like my wing liner. You totally don't have to do that. I'm going to line my waterline with the Rimmel London's Candle Eyes in Nude. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara. And the mascara that I'm going to be using is by Lancome. And I always forget what it's called. And I can't see on the packaging. Um, I'm going to link it down below. I'm not even going to try to remember what's it called. I think it's Hypnodrama or something like that. So I just realized my air conditioner was on all this freaking time, so I really hope that the um, background noise, noise of it didn't interrupt too much. I'm going to apply my false lashes, I'm going to use the Demi Wispies by Ardell and I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to be right back. So this is what the final look looks like. So if it looks like I have blush on, it's because I've used the, when I was contouring, I've used the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, cream contour kit, and I used this um, peachy shade with my beauty blender and just applied it to my cheeks a little bit to use it just kind of like a cream blush, but I'm still going to apply blush on top of it, and the blush that I'm going to be using is going to be um, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in doll face and I'm using my Sigma E F15 brush to apply that. I'm going to apply just a little bit because I do have a little bit of color on my cheeks already. And I don't want it to be too much because the focus is going on the eyes. I'm also going to bronze my face a little bit with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, matte bronzer and I absolutely love this stuff lately. I've been using it every single day since I got it and I love it. I love the smell of it. It smells like cocoa powder, like chocolate and I just love it. It's so pigmented and so pretty. I'm using my Sigma F10 blush brush to apply that. I'm going to warm up my cheeks a little bit with that. I probably should have done that before the blush, before the blush what's happening to my tongue today but whatever I'm going to be doing it right now just warming up my face a little bit with this bronzer and then I'm going to highlight just a little bit using my hourglass sorry ambient lighting powder in um, diffused lights which is the light yellowy shade and I'm using my Sigma F35 highlighting brush for that. It's not super highlighting but it just creates kind of a really really nice natural glow. I'm not sure if you're able to see that on the camera but what's good about that is that you can actually apply it anywhere you want to on your face because it's not going to be too much, it just will give you like a nice natural healthy glow. So I'm applying that to my cheekbones, the forehead, the middle, um, the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on the chin and on the cupid's bow. Just to highlight. And that's it for the face. Moving on to lips, I'm going to use my MAC Jervish Lip Pencil as always. And I'm going to line my lips with that. And then the lipstick that I'm going to be using is my lipstick Faded Kiss that I've created with um, Elux. And this is, by the way, also a matte shade. So everything I've used on my face is matte. Even the highlight is not super frosted or glowy or anything like that. It looks just a nice, like a nice matte highlight, if that's even possible. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this look and this tutorial and that you will try it out. All of the products, the list of all the products that I've used in this video is going to be down below on the description bar. Don't forget to subscribe for a new video every Saturday and let me know in the comments below what you think of this look, if you like it, and I'm going to talk to you all next Saturday. Bye!